In this lesson, we are going to work with state and lifecycle method in React components. What we're going to do is to create a component named clock and show lifetime on the screen. Right click on src, new file, and set file name to clock.js. First of all, I'm going to create a functional component. Define clock. It accepts props. And inside that, we are going to return props.date. Date. To locale a string. Let's wrap it inside h1 and move it inside that as we saw before to enter dynamic data like this we need to wrap it inside curly braces so it's the clock function and it returns a jsx and the jsx shows date inside props object let's export it export default clock good we are going to use this component inside app.js so instead of welcome component we are going to render clock component as you see we have this recommendation here press tab to import clock automatically in line 2 and then close clock component let's check the result we are getting this error it says cannot read property to locate a string the reason is in the clock we need to define the reason is we don't have date prop in the clock component let's define it the date is coming from current date we get access to the current date using new date good let's check the results aha uh -huh. as you see we have current date here but the thing is it doesn't update every second we need to update the seconds minutes and hours in this screen it just show the time at the render time just for one time we are going to make it like a live clock so when it comes to update the ui like what we need here we need to convert functional component to class component. here is the steps to convert clock functional component to a class component first of all comment this lines using control forward slash and define class clock it extends react.component and we need to import react from react second step define render method and inside render method we need to return this it's exactly the one that we return in clock function for props put this before props and this refer to the clock instance save it and check the result we are getting the same result but still the time is not live here we are going to change 12 to 13 we need to use states so in the app.js instead of passing data as a prop we are going to create a state in the clock component so this.props is going to be this.state.date let's get rid of this code we don't need it anymore by having this change if you save your file and check the result you will get this error it says the state is undefined here to fix this issue the next step is to creating constructor for clock component constructor accept props as a parameter and inside that we have to call super props to pass props to the parent class which is react.component in this case after this it's time after this, it's time to set initial value for state. 
the initial value is gonna be an object and inside this object we have date filled and the value of date filled is new date save your file and check the results as you see there is no error but still the date is unchanged the next step is gonna be adding lifecycle method to the class first of all we want to set up a timer whenever clock is rendered to the web page for the first time this is called mounting in react to define this lifecycle method type component did mount as a method for this class what we're gonna do when this component render in the screen is to set a timer id this dot timer id equal to set interval set interval accept two parameter the first parameter is a function and second parameter is the interval based on millisecond inside this function i'm going to update the state to update the state use this dot set state and change the value of date to the current date that's it so set a state is a special method in react component that update the state don't change the state like this you can only use this style in the constructor not in other functions good let's check the result uh-huh as you see it works now the time here is live the next lifecycle method that we need to define here is to free up the timer after closing this page after removing this component from the screen the name of this method is component will unmount define this function component will unmount and inside that we need to free up this dot timer id use clear interval and pass this dot timer id as a parameter so when you refresh the page this method will run and it just free up the space that occupied by set interval in the component did mount so what we did in this lesson is to create a live timer live clock in the screen and it gets updated every second using this command set interval and by updating the state we have the change in the screen like this because the data here is coming from state and the state is changing every second in this line we need to use state correctly we cannot update state directly like what we did here the only place that we can update it directly is in the constructor function okay that's it about this lesson for the next lesson we are going to learn handling events in the react components until next lesson bye bye